Well, this video is definitely not going to have the same production value or duration as normal, but I wanted to come on here, quickly react to the news that just came out this morning. That a couple days ago, Oakland Mayor Shang Tao and his staff member traveled to Seattle for the All-Star Week festivities so that she could meet face-to-face -face for the first time with MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred. Now again, they had not even previously spoken in a one-on-one -on -one setting. All of their communication, reportedly, had been through media efforts. A quote here, a response in the media there, another comment here, there, vice versa. This was literally the first contact, the first official contact made between Oakland's mayor and the MLB commissioner, and it was face-to-face. -face. Now, I said a couple weeks ago that this was the right timing for Oakland to finally get out there with some messaging and the opportunity to at least show Major League Baseball, show everybody in the baseball community what a yes looks like for the city of Oakland. Because the spotlight had been on the Nevada State Legislature and Las Vegas and public funding, but then events and developments kind of fell into a lull. There was a time where all of a sudden the A's were still in the news, but nothing was really happening, speculation. This was the perfect spotlight opportunity, like I said, for Oakland to at least put its name back out there in the conversation. And of all things, right, to avoid a phone call or a video chat or a letter or continued back and forth in the media, I mean, if you think about it, it's pretty bold to show up to the All-Star game with a 17-page document prepared for the commissioner and all the other 29 Major League Baseball teams, some other people inside the, the commissioner's office, to come out with a prepared document that spells it all out. And I think fairly spells it all out. If you've seen that document, it doesn't rely on a lot of hopes and wishes and far-fetched projections. It literally says, here is where we got in this deal in terms of approvals and negotiations. And whether this is for the A's and the immediate future, whether this is for even an expansion franchise, which I think is so far down the road, I'm, I'm not ready to even get to that point yet, but at least the opportunity for Oakland to, again, establish its perspective, take advantage of the time and the opportunity and the attention. And again, just no better way to do it face-to-face in person and to be able to distribute these documents to the uh, respective Major League Baseball owners, it's timely information. And this happened in a timely fashion. I also said a couple weeks ago here on YouTube that the All-Star break would do something for this process of the relocation application by the A's. Um, this is where owners get together for a couple days, the home run derby, the All-Star game, they're in person, they're talking about this face to face. So while the conversation is happening, while the iron is essentially hot, this is when Oakland decided to kind of strike. Um, as for the 17-page document, again, I think it's quite thorough. I've given it uh, a once-over a couple times already this morning. Uh, it's, just, it's, it's very interesting to see that, to revisit that after everywhere this process has been in Nevada and Las Vegas. I would also have to say that, what does this mean? Is it too late? Those are all fair questions. Um, you know, does this officially get Oakland back in the picture? I'm not here to say that. I'm also not here to say that it derails anything that's been happening in Las Vegas. Look, I don't even know if the A's in looking back at this initial agreement, maybe they're not even in place to pull off that kind of a deal anymore. I also thought, by the way, just going back to a kind of a separate side story, very interesting that as part of the relocation application, which we understand is not fully submitted, like maybe the cover sheet of it has, um, one of the things that has not been presented yet is that temporary home and location for this team for at least three seasons of 25, 26, and 27. That to me is a critical part of any relocation effort. Like what's the plan here? Again, the fact that we don't know what that looks like, where that would be, how that would work, I think that's all very interesting. Uh, but again, back to the mayor's office, uh, you know, for weeks now, been kind of waiting on something like this, and it, it didn't happen instantly, but I think this happened in their case probably about the best way possible, again, to do this in a face-to-face -face setting, and it's the best shot they could take at this point. 
I, I honestly can't think of anything better for them uh, to position themselves differently or improve that position than doing this face-to-face. -face. Uh, and again, what does it mean? Will it work in any way, shape, or form? I'm not sure. We're about to find out. But at least in this case, in the quotes from the mayor and the dedication and taking time out of you know her schedule, Oakland's schedule to go out and do this, you know I think it it literally sends a message, sends the message with details. But I think it figuratively sends a message too that uh, you know she was into this and, and willing to go to that length. Okay, uh, that's it. Um, again, this is quick. This is very brief and broad, but um, you know covering this story like I have, I think it's very important to uh, give you all the most important parts, and this is definitely one of them. So we'll see where this goes, but in the case of Oakland, um, and hopefully it's not the last thing and the only thing, but hopefully this is the trajectory uh, that they will take in the process, which is still ongoing. It's at a critical juncture, the Nevada stuff and Carson City and Las Vegas, that was all out of Oakland's hands. Uh, but at least now in terms of communicating with Major League Baseball, you know, there's a path now. There, there is a connection that has been made, and we'll see where it goes. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I will see you next time.